You haven't been involved with that. Oh, I, right. I've heard of Seven Cafe. I never heard of Gap. All right. So, um, <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following livery license subject uh, to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to satisfactory evidence of uh, vehicle registration. In vehicle the registration uh, is principally garaged in the town of North Reading and subject to all regulatory department requirements. Motion by Mr. O'Leary. But we want to have a by when date? You What's read that? The company's name. You, you uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Boston North Limo. Okay. But you want to give a deadline date as to when they have to. This is a temporary. We want to fashion this sort of as a temporary license. By no, what date? No, 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 no because no, if they don't bring it in by the end of the year, yeah. Yeah. No, we can sign it now and he just holds the license. Right. Uh, he holds it. He doesn't give it to them. So if they don't come in by December 31st with the satisfactory evidence, they don't get the license, they can't operate. They're done. They're, shut, okay. they're shut right. down. And then when they come, if they come in January 13th, they grant yeah. it down. Okay. they hand them the All license. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. okay. So in other words, we need satisfactory evidence yeah. that the, the vehicles are registered in the town of North with a principally garage. Do second. I hear a second? Second. Second by Mr. Delaney. Further discussion? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. All right, so we can sign, so we can sign the license, and you're just going to hold it. Correct. And she's going to have the motion. She okay. will. Actually, I'll, I'll send this one down this way. Okay. Automatic amusement devices. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following automatic amusement device license to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to all regulatory department requirements. Loyal Order of Moose, Papa Gino's, Sports, Spirits, and Steaks. Second. Motion by Mr. Prisco, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous? Next one is jukebox. One second. Still one in town. A jukebox? <laughs> Where is that? Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following jukebox license to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to all regulatory department requirements. Royal Order of Moose. Motion by Mr. Prisco, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Last one, license. Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following class one license to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to all regulatory department requirements. Bob Cat of Boston. I'm not going to second. Someone else needs a second. Second. Mr. O'Leary. Uh, I will be abstaining as a class one license also has the authority to operate as a class two license and I have a family member who will be applying or currently holds and will be applying for a class two license. So I will be abstaining from any discussion and I will not be participating in any way. Abstaining. I'd like to like record the show. On the motion, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstaining? Aye. Four in favor, one abstention. Class two license. Mr. Prisco. I move to renew the following class two license to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to all regulatory department requirements. A, J, A and J Motors. Green Bar, Green Barrel, Classic Motors, PT Auto, Route 28 Motors Exchange Inc. Second. Motion by Mr. Prisco, second by Mr. Delaney. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. I'd like to show that uh, I have a uh, relative that has a personal interest in one of the applications for renewal of Class II license, and I will not be participating in the discussion, nor will I be uh, participating in the vote other than to abstain. Thank you, Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Aye. Again, four with one abstention. Next one is. All right, right here for you. Paternal license.
license. Fraternal club license. Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following fraternal club license to expire December 31st, 2011, sub subject to all regulatory department requirements. A loyal order of Moose, North Reading, Christopher Club. Second. Motion made by Mr. Prisco, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just as a matter of disclosure, I happen to be a member of the Knights of Columbus, which is part of the Christopher Club, and I should disclose this earlier in relation to the other uh, permit either, but it's, uh, I don't believe there's any uh, conflict of interest, but just as a matter of disclosure, I'd like to uh, submit for the record that I am a member of the Knights of Columbus. Thank you, Mr. O'Leary. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Club license. Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following club license to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to all regulatory department requirements. Thompson Club, Inc. Second. Motion by Mr. Prisco, second by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That is unanimous. Sunday Entertainment License. Mr. Chairman, I move to renew the following Sunday Entertainment License to expire December 31st, 2011, subject to all regulatory department requirements. B&D Golf Enterprises, Inc. Hillview. Second. Motion by Mr. Prisco, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Mr. Chairman, I move to sign the ABCC 2011 Renewal Certification. Second. Motion by Mr. Prisco, seconded by Mr. O'Leary. Discussion? Can you just explain to me roughly what this is? Mr. Bellatone, if you want to explain that to Mr. Prisco. Mr. Prisco, could you just pass it down to me so I can have a look at it, please? ABCC Certification. He that just indi indicates that there were no um, licensing actions taken by the board to either disapprove or not the licenses that failed to renew in the last year. Which we did, right? Right, and it's also, I think, a certification for us population which determines how many licenses are to be issued within the town and so on and so forth. Disclosure. So, do I write down the disapproved here? There were no board we were licenses disapproved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you for signing that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, risque. <laughs> uh, good evening. Please refer to the, uh, the gold sheet that's in your packet. I'll start with uh, number one. Number one is the update on the sewer infrastructure economic study. It was approved at October Town Meeting. Contract was awarded to a company by the name of FXM Associates. They're located in Mattapoisett. Notice of award was sent out. I've received the contracts back by mail. Uh, I will sign them shortly. I just want to make sure that uh, all the proper signatures are on it. The study is due to begin um, early January and be completed within 60 days. So that's keeping with the time frame that we had. And as you remember, this is uh, critical in terms of uh, Justifying the need for the sewer project going forward by the board. So the project is well on its way. Um, number two is just an update on the negotiations for the uh, owner's project manager for the high school project. Um, the building committee had forwarded to me a recommendation for negotiation. Selected company was called PMA Associates. Um, the negotiations have been completed. The uh, contract has been signed by PMA Associates. It's awaiting MSBA approval. 
Massachusetts School Building Authority. And um, once that's approved, the project manager's main task is to commence with the procurement of design services for the project. And uh, my understanding is the uh, project manager will be setting up a meeting with the committee going forward to review the schedule for doing so forthwith. But that's, uh, that's some good news, that we have a project manager that's on board. Um, number three, the, I've received notice from the, uh, the Massachusetts Joint Labor Management Committee uh, noting that the fire union has filed a petition for mediation in an effort to settle their collective bargaining agreement. The um, petition is a result of unsuccessful negotiations on the collective bargaining agreement that expired on June 30th of 2010. So the union has uh, indicated that they wish to bring this uh, contract, unsettled contract forward for um, mediation uh, before the JMLC. That's their decision. Uh, the town will have an opportunity to participate in that process. As a matter of fact, we're required to participate in that process. And we will have uh, our council represent us in any of the matters that involve this going forward. Rick, can you explain the process uh, with joint labor management? It's a mediation, so I assume that yeah. either side can just walk away and say, no, we're not coming to an agreement or what have you. Where would it go from there? Initially, they, uh, they assign a neutral mediator to do exactly what you just described. The neutral mediator will come in, establish what the, the uh, positions of each of the parties were, try to find where their common areas, try to med informally mediate some type of settlement. If that proves to be unsuccessful under state law, public safety unions can file for arbitration. So um, the matter could potentially go at some point later date to be determined, the matter could be presented for arbitration. And then independent arbitration panel consisting of three members would then have an opportunity to decide whether the union's offer, the town's offer, or some compromise in between is appropriate. Um, if that then does get through the uh, arbitration process, it requires the funding to be approved by town meeting. So any contract settlement ultimately needs to be approved for funding before town meeting before it actually becomes effective. And that would be a ways off. And if it goes the way of arbitration, you say there's a panel of arbitrators? Um, the JMLC presents a panel of arbitrators. Okay. So it's, so it's people that actually sit on the Joint Labor Management Committee that would serve as arbitrators. Either side has a, an opinion or uh, suggest who the arbitrator may be. Um, we would have an opportunity to be involved in that process to the extent we, it's, it's a little bit different than um, dispute mediation, where there's actually through the American Arbitration Association, they submit a uh, list of arbitrators and it's like, it's a little bit different where the arbitrators are actually part of the Joint Labor Management Committee. So people tend to be, um, non-professionals in the field, i.e. they tend to be either management representatives, which are people that work as mayors or um, town managers, labor representatives, which may be affiliated with some of the labor organizations throughout the state. So it's a little bit of a different <coughs> process. Mr. Uh, I guess I'm, maybe I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize we were at this point, in this particular you thought uh, that we had ongoing negotiations taking place. I thought there was some progress being made. And I guess I'm somewhat surprised by the fact that they filed for this. Were you surprised? Well, I, I don't know what it is. Were you surprised? Um, I thought that we could continue additional negotiations like Minori. So you didn't get any indication from the, that no, that's we, what they were going to take? No, we had a negotiation session, and the negotiation session resulted in the fact that they would proceed in forwarding a petition for arbitration or for mediation. I think it's a, it was a surprise to me, certainly, because I thought that uh, uh, we were going to be able to make some progress. Yeah. <coughs> Essentially, they just asked for mediation without... That, that's, that's why I'm, I'm a bit caught off guard, because, uh, and I know you've been keeping us well, in, uh, what I feel is fairly well informed here, uh, so I'm really a bit taken aback and, uh, and disappointed. Uh, that they decided to uh, take this step, um, which is to get a third party involved when I thought we were making some progress, but apparently I was under some sort of a misimpression, or maybe we all were, and that's yeah. unfortunate. I, I think, Steve, that uh, our labor union